Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Vipul Gupta. One of my subscriber has shared an assignment with me. He has appeared for the interview of senior analyst for one of the big four companies. This assignment has been part of the initial screening SQL test. In this video, we are going to solve this assignment. We'll be understanding the tables, we'll be understanding the problem statement, and then we'll be writing the final solution for all the asked questions. But before getting started, do not forget to hit the subscribe button so that you do not miss any update regarding my new videos. Also, if you are liking these videos, please keep on sharing, keep on liking these videos as it motivates me to make more videos for you guys. So guys, let's start with this assignment. So in this video, we'll be discussing the problem statement first, we'll be understanding the tables and then we'll be proceeding towards understanding the problems which has been asked to us, right? So here we have this problem statement. Then we have these queries that we can use to create our own table and then we can insert these values. I'll be sharing all this with you in the description section so that you can create your tables by your own. And this is the original table. So our final table will look like this. Now moving ahead, we have been asked to write SQL queries for these problem statements. So first of all, let's understand the background of this problem. So basically, it is mentioned that you are working as an HR analyst for a company. The company's name can be company underscore ABC. Now, the director HR, the director of the HR team wants you to provide him with some data. The data is stored in the database in the form of a table. The name of the table is employee underscore ABC. Now, the ask is to, we have to create this table first. Then we have to insert these values and our final table will look like this. Now, based on this table, we have to write some SQL queries for all these problems, right? So now we know that we uh, this is related to the HR team's data and this way you can create your table. I'll be sharing these commands with you in the description section so that you can create your own table. Now, let's understand the table. So in this table, we have six columns. E underscore ID, so it is the employee ID, E underscore name, it stands for the name of the employee. Then we have the salary, then we have the age of the employee, gender of the employee and department of the employee. Now let's discuss the problems one by one. So the first problem is we need to fetch all the data from the table employee underscore ABC sorted with respect to the employee's name in the ascending order. Okay. The second problem is we need to fetch the details of the employee with the highest salary in the company, right? Third problem is we need to find the number of employees whose age is greater than 25 and less than 35. The fourth problem is what is the average age of the employees in the company? And we have to print our output with this, which is rounded off up to two decimal places. Fifth problem is what is the maximum and average salary of an employee in each department? So basically, with respect to each department, we have to find out the maximum and average salary of all the employees. Sixth problem is, what is the total number of employees working in each department? So corresponding to each department, we have to find out the number of employees working in that particular department. The seventh problem is, suppose the company has announced a salary increment of 20% for all the employees. Write an SQL query to print the employee details and the corresponding incremented salary. That is, we have the salary column available in our data set, but now company has announced a salary increment of 20%. So using the salary column, we have to create a new column with, with the 20% hiked salary. So guys, now let's go to MySQL workbench and there we'll be creating this table, we'll be inserting the values and then we'll be solving the problem one by one. So guys, now we are at the MySQL workbench and I have already created this table employee underscore ABC in my MySQL workbench. Now, in order to create this table, you can use this query and to insert the values, you can use this query. Now, first of all, let's write a basic select statement to explore the table. So select star from employee underscore ABC. So using this query will give us all the columns in the table. Right. So here we have six columns that we already have discussed and these are the records. Now let's move ahead and solve all the problems one by one. 
So the first problem is we need to fetch all the data from this table employee underscore ABC and we have to sort our records with respect to the employee's name in the ascending order. So for this, since we have been asked to fetch all the columns, all the data, so I will be using select star from followed by the name of the table. So here the name of the table is employee underscore ABC. Now we have to sort these records with respect to the employee's name in the ascending order. So I will be using order by E underscore name. And since we have to sort our data in the ascending order, so we can skip writing ascending or ASC here. Now let's execute this to see the final output. All right. So here we have written this query. We have extracted all the data from this table and that data has been sorted with respect to the employee's name. So here we can see NA, uh, since NA starts with A, it is coming in the first row followed by Bob and so on. Now let's move ahead for the next problem. Now we have the problem is we have to fetch the details of the employee with the highest salary in the company. So guys now in order to solve this problem what approach we can take. So basically we need to find the employee ID, all the details of the employee with the highest salary. So here in order to solve this my approach would be we can sort our records with respect to the employee's salary and then we can limit the first row that is select star from employee underscore abc so basically writing this will give all the records now i want to order my records with respect to the e underscore salary so by using this we will be getting all the records all the six records sorted in the order of employee salary descending as we want to sort our records in the descending order of the employee salary so now we will be getting all the six records sorted in the employee salary in the descending order and by using limit here what we can do we can just take the first record so that first record will be the record or the employee which has the highest salary here so limit one now let's execute it to see the final output so here in the table you can see na is the person with the highest salary so let's execute it no uh, so basically matt is the person with the highest salary so he is earning 1,59,000. Alright. So we are getting only one record that is for Matt. And he is the person with the highest salary in the company. So now let's proceed further with the next problem. So now what do we want to find? We have to find the number of employees whose age is greater than 25 and less than 35. So in order to find the number of employees, we will be using an aggregate function here that is count. Now what do we want to count? We want to count the EIDs. So this column will give us the number of IDs of the employees from employee underscore ABC where now we just want those records for the employees whose age is greater than 25 and less than 35. So we can use between here where e dot age between 25 and 35. Let's execute this. Also, let's give it an alias as num of employees. Let's execute this. All right. So we have four employees with the age between 25 and 35. Now let's proceed further with the next problem. So here the in the problem 4, the ask is to find the average age of the employees in the company rounded off to two decimal places. So now in order to find the age, we can use the uh, E underscore age column. So select average E underscore age. So basically it will give us the average of the employee's age from employee underscore ABC. Right. So basically this will give us the average but here the ask is that we want to round off up to two decimal places. So we want to round off this output up to two decimal places. So in order to do that we'll, we will be using a round function here. Also it's average round and we want to round up to two decimal places. So we will be using round 
the first parameter will be this average age and it will be number of decimal places up to which we want to round off now let's execute this okay it's avg i guess so it's pretty confusing because in some of the servers it's avg or for and for some others it's a average let's execute this all right so now we are getting the average age uh, let's give it an alias as average age boys right let's execute it once again all right so the average age of the employees in the company is 30.17 as we have rounded off our final output up to two decimal places now let's proceed further with the next problem the problem fifth is what is the maximum and average salary of an employee in each department so the here, here the ask is that corresponding to each department we want to find the maximum salary and the average salary of the employees so for that so there are two things the first is we want to use the functions we want to use the aggregate functions that is maximum and average and since we want to find the maximum and average salary with respect to the department so the grouping will be happening with respect to the department only so department e underscore department comma max of salary right as max under salary second is average salary so avg salary as from employee underscore abc now we are using aggregate function so we have to provide a group by so group by we want to group our records with respect to the department so i will be using e dot e underscore department department i think i have used the incorrect name all right so salary is not the right column it's e underscore so let me check it once again it's e underscore salary So guys you have to take care of the correct name of the column while writing any query else it will give some error all right so now we are getting the department name the maximum salary in the department and the average salary in the department all right and here we have four departments operation support analytics and sales now sixth problem is we want to find the total number of employees working in each department right so we have to count the number of employees with respect to with, with respect to the department for that first of all i will be using e, e underscore dpt as the department name and i will be using a aggregate function here count e underscore id so this will give me the count of employee ids right as emp count from employee underscore abc now since we are using an aggregate function so we have to provide a group by so group by e underscore db because we'll be grouping our data with respect to this department let's execute this all right so here we are getting four rows because we have four departments in the company we have operations uh, for operation we have two employees support we have one analytics two and sales one right now let's proceed further with the next problem and it is the last problem in this assignment so basically the ask is suppose the company has announced a salary increment of 20% for all the employees so we have to write an sql query to print the employee details and the corresponding incremented salary all right so since we have been asked to print all the records and all the columns so i will be using star and in addition to the pre existing columns we have to create a new column with the name incremented salary and here we have to use this calculation that is the salary of the employees has been incremented by 20% so in order to do that so first of all let's understand the basic mathematics here the incremented salary 
can be calculated as incremented salary equals to previous salary plus 20% of the previous salary right so this is the basic mathematical formula that we can use and in order i can rewrite it as incremented salary equals to 1.20 into previous salary right because it will give me the 120% of the in pre previous salary right so this is the formula that we are going to use in our sql query right so now we have will be using star to print all the pre existing columns and it will be followed by the new column right so the new column can be uh, we can name it as inc underscore salary so 1.20 into e underscore cell salary right let me put it in the braces as incremented salary from employee underscore abc right mm, all right so i think this is the ask uh, we are we have not been asked to do any kind of sorting or filtering so we are good to go with this query let's execute this all right so here we are able to print all the records and all the pre-existing columns and in addition to that we have created this incremented salary column so it is the incremented salary that is when the previous salary has been incremented by 20 percent so it is giving us the updated salary right and this is the ask of this problem so guys uh, this way we can attempt this assignment we can solve this assignment and in case of any query do let me know in the comment section also you can reach out to me uh, on my whatsapp instagram linkedin and you can find all the details in the description section below so guys thank you for watching this video i hope you like this do not forget to hit the like button and do hit the subscribe button so that you do not miss any update regarding my new videos thank you for watching happy learning